Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for a new use case where we try to solve a problem using shell scripts. So here's my problem. I'm addicted. I'm a junkie. And like many other people, I'm a junkie of social media. So the first part of my solution to solve this problem was just to delete every social media I have on my, on my phone. And it was one of the best decisions I made for my phone and for my life uh, at that point. The second part is I'm often on my computer, so unfortunately, I can still go on social media uh, using, uh, using this computer. And sometimes I don't even realize it. I'm just, you know, on social media for 20 minutes and I'm like, what I'm doing here and why I'm on Facebook just scrolling indefinitely. So what I wanted to do is a very simple command to block the social media um, I wanted and another command to unblock them. So let's go. Let's try to uh, let's try to write a shell script for that. So let me just increase the font of my terminal for you to see. And let's go. Let's create no social dot sh. All right. So how to do that? Well, something which is cross platform, which will work all the time. Any OS has it is the file host. What is host? It's basically you can put in there a mapping between an IP address and a domain name, like, I don't know, Google or Twitter or whatever. And if you put a domain name like Twitter mapping to your local computer, it won't work. And each time you will try to go on Twitter, it will try to search Twitter on your local computer But since you don't run Twitter on your local computer, I hope, um, it won't work. So let's open a new pane and let's see first, because I don't really know what I have in my host file. And I, um, yeah, and I don't have anything except uh, except the name of my local computer, which is fine. All right, so first things first, I need to store somewhere in my script every uh, social media I want to block or unblock. So for that, I mean, the, the easiest way is just to take the basic data structure of every programming language, the array. But first things first, I need to declare here a shebang for the OS to know what shell to use um, when I run it. So let's create a new um, a new array and let's say that I want to block Twitter. Uh, Just to be safe and just to be sure I won't go on Twitter at all, I will just add every domain name I can think of. And then what I would need to do is just write them map mapping to my local host in my uh, host file. So let's go. First, I need, um, it's not that, maybe this one. First, I need uh, a loop um, to just iterate through the whole array. And I would need to do something like that. Uh, no, it's not sent to always get that wrong and of course it's done at the end. So here I will iterate through uh, the whole array and I need to write. So I will do echo. So the address of your local host and mine and every local host in the world, 
and I need to happen to that uh, the social media itself, uh, which is not one, which is I. And we need to append that to the file etc host. It's etc host in my case because I'm running a, a Linux based system. But if you are on Windows, I think it's system32 drivers, Windows system32 drivers, something like that. And it's a private etc host for macOS. I will put all of that in the description. So. Here I am. So normally this is working, but who knows? We need to try. So let's open a new pane and let's try to run um, our script. But before, so our script is here. And before I need to change the permission for my user to uh, have the authorization to execute my script. And now I can, I can run it. And it doesn't work because only the root user can write on etc host. So what I can do is just use sudo with my script, entering my password. And now let's see what's in the etc host and it works. Now Twitter just, um, just points to my local computer and then it will just crash. So here I have Firefox open so let's try. Let's go on Twitter. Hmm. Seems it works. But it doesn't. See? Something went wrong. If I try to reload, still wrong. If I try to explore, for example, still wrong. That's great. So it works. Now, what I would like to do is to unblock it. So I need two comments for that somehow. So, and what I could do is to pass an argument to my script to, to say, hey, when I, let's say my, when my first argument is block, in that case, you need to block every social media. When my argument is unblock, you need to unblock every social media. So we can do that like this. Let's add an if, and the condition would be if one, which is the first argument of the script, equal to block. Um, in that case, in that case, just uh, block everything as we just did. We can copy that, paste it. If it's unblock, if it's unblock, in this precise case, we need to delete everything we blocked before. So how do we do that? That's a bit complicated. Well, no, that's not complicated actually. <laughs> um, what we can do is just going again through every um, every um, every every element. Sorry, in social media in my array and just delete everything. So um, so for that, I can use said like this. So said, you can uh, use said to substitute um, one pattern with uh, a replacement. So my pattern here would be my local host and I will use uh, regular expressions here. And if you don't have any idea about regular expressions, you can uh, watch my videos on grep with regular expressions. And then you will be the master uh, in regex, the king, the god, you will feel the power. So um, what I want to delete begins by uh, the, the IP address of my local host. And just afterwards, after a space, it needs to have the social media itself. And I want to replace that with nothing, which means deleted. 
And I don't even need to put G at the end, I think, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we can try that. Let's try again. It's normally pseudo no social uh, without any argument won't do anything. So let's try to see, yeah, it didn't change anything in etc host. So let's try to write unblock. It doesn't work. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Because I forgot to put uh, an input for said. Said uh, needs a, a command, like substitute, but you can use other with said. And an input, what I want to replace. So I want, of course, to replace etc hosts. I want to replace in the file etc host. Let's try again. And it worked, but it only um, deleted the first line. And by the way, when I use said like that, it, it doesn't delete anything. What it will do, it will output etc host with uh, the pattern and the replacement, but without modifying the file. So it's good to, to test. So it deleted only the first line, which is, um, which is pretty sad. By the way, we said you don't have to do that. You can as well use D uh, as flag just to delete something. So let's see, uh, let's see if it uh, works better like that. In determine s command. Oh yeah, when you use the D command, you don't necessarily. Yeah, it's not a substitution anymore, and that's what I was saying before. We said you can use different commands, and this command will just find the pattern. 127.0.0.1 at the beginning of the line, followed by the social media, and it will just delete it. So it's even better like that. And it returned something very weird. Yeah, okay, it returned uh, five times the same thing, which is normal actually. But oh yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. It's normal because um, since I going through every social media, each time it will um, it will output etc host without this precise social media, but I'm sure you you found out already faster than me. So um, so that's good actually. That it does what we wanted. So now I can save this modification each time. I can save it into my etc host. So for that, I can use set minus y minus i, which is uh, just uh, changing in place the file I give as input. So let's try that. Oh, did I save it? Yeah. And now let's try to see what's in etc hosts. And it worked. Every, uh, every, single, um, every single social media was deleted in my file. So now we can try on Firefox again, see if Twitter is working. And it works. Very nice. Now we have another problem. Let's say I blocked my social media. Like that. So if you look at etc hosts, my social media are blocked. Now I don't remember that I blocked them. So I want to block them again. Let's do that. And now I have in double in my etc host every social media. So if I block my social media 10 times, I will have, well, uh, 10 by uh, the number of social media I'm blocking. So 30 in that case. And we don't want that. We want our script to be idempotent, which means that each time you run it, it has the same effect. You don't want to add more data and more data in it. So a very, very easy way to do that, each time you block the social media, the social media, sorry, 
you make sure that you delete everything first. I mean, you delete first the social media if it's there, and then you write the social media into ETC host. So you just copy past the line uh, to, to delete the social media, basically. So let's try that. Let's unblock first, and normally unblock will delete every social media in etc host. Indeed, and now let's try to block it. It works. Let's try to block it again, and again, and again, and again. And it worked. We only have uh, once the social medias we wanted to block. Well, now, if I try to go on Twitter, I have many notifications. What happened? I want to see. Oh my God, maybe I'm rich, maybe I'm famous. Oops, yeah, you need to reload your cache. Well, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. And uh, if you go on twitter.com, Magic, wonderful. To be honest with you, uh, since I have this script, each time I go on Twitter and um, it's blocked, it reminds me that I have more important things to do. And of course I could unblock it directly, but it's, it's an action uh, to do. And I need to do it consciously. I need to tell myself, okay, I want to go on Twitter, so now I will unblock it. If I'm doing something else, something I find more important, I won't do that because I will think, no, it's not worth it. At least it works like that for me. I don't know about you. You can try and experiment, but here are very quick scripts uh, to, to try to just block every social media and basically every website you want, actually. You could have, I don't know, an array for uh, blocking every website. You don't want your children to, to go on. Or, or stuff like that. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope you will have a great rest of your day.